Hi, I'm Mikkel, and this is Things You Can Do in Space Station Silicon Valley. Episode 19, Jungle Doldrums. Here's another hot speedrun strat coming your way. It's the hippo jump. To do a hippo jump, we need to kill the hippo and then bring it over to the wall. Afterwards, we grab the hyena and put it on the hippo's back. First though, we need to adjust the hippo's position. We need to push it further into the wall until its front legs can't be seen anymore. With the hippo in place, we jump on its back and then spam R to swap between the two animals as quickly as possible. As this happens, the hyena gets launched into the air, and if we manage to swap into it while it's up there, we go really high and we can land on the wall. From here, it's really easy to kill the parrot and then just beat the level. Next, I'll show a weird thing you can do using the hippo in the water. If you swap out of the hippo while in the water, it sort of glitches the game. Normally, Microchip Evo slowly loses health over time, but for some reason that doesn't happen here. This effect lasts as long as we are in the water. As soon as we step on the land, we start taking damage again, even if we go back into the water, which is how the game should behave. We can take this glitch even further if we swap out of the hippo underneath the hyena, so that the hyena goes onto the hippo's back. If we do this, we can swap into the hyena from the glitched evo, which then glitches out the hyena. In this case, the hyena just can't jump, for some reason. Again, as soon as you go off the hippo, you're back to normal. So yeah, that's weird. Next up, here's a different way than intended to get across the river. Put the hippo just on the far edge of the button that turns on the log ride, and then swap into a hyena. With this setup, we can jump from the treetop onto the hippo, and then from the hippo onto the other side of the river without using the logs. Another thing you can do is damage boost across the lava pits in the cave. All we have to do is line up with where a boulder jumps out and then time it just right so that we jump onto a boulder. Yeah, you get the point though. Here's a viewer request. Let's find out if Evo blobs out from a distance like other animals do. What I mean by that is that animals that are really far away turn into blobs, and then when we get close to the animal again it switches back to its proper appearance. This allows the game to have a good draw distance without creating too much lag. So does this happen to Microchip Evo? To find out, we need a way to actually view Evo from a distance. One way to do this is with a tour camera. So, as the tour wraps back around to us, we can see that the hyena is blobbed out, but Evo is not. So, from this extravagant experiment, we can conclude that no, Evo does not blob out. Last thing. The giant lava pit at the end of this level has an invisible bridge that we're supposed to navigate. There are several ways to solve this puzzle. First, we can skip it completely using the hippo jump I showed earlier. The second way is by jumping out of bounds using the rain machine. We jump on the switch, then on the machine, then out of bounds. 
And then when we're out of bounds, we just sort of walk past the pit again. Great. We can also get on the machine by jumping on the side pipe first instead of the switch. Okay, this is a lot harder than I thought, so let's skip it. Another way to get past the lava pit. We're going to push this energy box up the hill. This is a bit of a struggle, so we need to have a little bit of patience. Once it's up there, we can jump onto it and then get out of bounds. Way number four to pass the pit is to kill the elephant, and then we can put the elephant's corpse on the hill, and then use it to get out of bounds just like the box. So yeah, same deal. Now technically the rain machine is supposed to be used to help us see the invisible bridge, because the rain will splash where the bridge is, and then keep falling where the bridge isn't. So that's technically how you're supposed to beat the level, I think. However, we can also use the other animals in the area to see the bridge. The elephant's water attack can also splash or not splash depending on if the ground is present, so it will tell you if the bridge is there or not. And if it splashes, then we know the bridge is there, so we can cross pretty safely as the elephant. Likewise, the tortoise tank shells explode when they hit the ground, so they'll explode when they hit the bridge, and if it doesn't explode, then there's no bridge there. So we can use this to see the bridge and cross safely. <sighs> Things you can do in Space Station Silicon Valley. And thanks for watching. If you'd like to see some more SSSV stuff, feel free to hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitch to catch me playing this game live. That's everything for now, so sleep tight and good night.